Hi, welcome to Yellowslate, your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kid based on various filters and parameters. Today, we have Mr. Srinivasa Balbo Malagaru, whose kids are studying in Glendale Academy, which is in Langerhaus area. And let's talk to him and understand about his perspective about the school. So, since he's studying in Glendale, what is your overall opinion about the school? How do you like it? I have two kids. One, uh, uh, Krishna Sharanya, and the other one is uh, Manaswini. Krishna Sharanya is in her grade 5 and Manaswini is in her grade 11. Uh, initially, I thought of joining her, uh, joining both of them in uh, the routine, uh, what do you call, uh, 9 to 4 kind of schools, wherein there will be only education, education and education. But uh, later I thought, I did the same, my wife did the same, my brother did the same. Why should I put my kids in the same kind of routine? So I thought of uh, an international school and I was browsing and uh, searching everywhere. So Glendale happened to be uh, near my uh, home and hardly okay. seven, eight kilometers from my home, uh, okay. which is uh, more or less uh, feasible for me, commutable for me and uh, easy for me to drop them uh, in case if I miss the bus. After searching and uh, Googling, I found it uh, to be the best one. Got it. One thing is the school being in close proximity is one of the major reasons. But is there anything else that made you to zero in on this school? As I told you before, I don't want to be in the my kids to be in the same routine of uh, only education. Schools. Yeah, where the routine uh, orthodox uh, schools. Got I want it. them to be doing sports also, academic activities also, and at the same time events and uh, stage uh, things and dancing and singing and skating and swimming and stuff like that. Hmm. So after joining the school, uh, do they have it now? Does the kid go to all yes, yes. kids? Yeah, they do have. It is the best international school in Hyderabad. The massive uh, school has so many amenities for uh, its children that I'm not surprised about it. uh, its ranking among the best schools in Hyderabad. Got it. Uh, right now, they are studying uh, They are studying in Bandlaguda. Uh, okay. They do have uh, branches in uh, Tellapur and financial district. And not only that, they do uh, have CBSE also, IB also and Cambridge also. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised to have uh, watched them that uh, they are having virtual tours uh, during uh, holidays or the days that are raining and the days uh, during Corona, they had all this uh, Zoom meeting online classes and uh, and whenever they skip the classes because of n number of reasons, I'm zero worried, I'm not at all worried. Just because I get the entire classwork and entire uh, homework and entire notes through um, MCB, huh, there is an app and uh, through that app, I get the entire uh, classwork and homework and events and stuff uh, which has uh, happened in their absence. Got uh, it. The kids. So for all of yours, can you tell us the fee structure that you're paying for both your kids? Uh, yeah, and the uh, 11th grade uh, kid is... Uh, I'm for, for her, I'm pay, paying around uh, 4 plus, 4 okay. lakhs plus, Okay. which can be paid in three installments. And the third grade, fifth grade, uh, sorry, fifth grade kid, uh, I'm paying uh, around 3.25 uh, plus. Got it. And does it also include food and transport or you pay separately for them? It includes uh, food and uh, the transport varies uh, from... 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers, one bracket, 10 to 15 kilometers, another bracket, and 15 to 20 kilometers, another bracket, something like that. Got it. Since you spoke about the fee structure, and I know it varies from syllabus to syllabus, which syllabus is your kid going to? CBLC. Got it. And sir, uh, you seem to be broadly happy with the school, but if you have to tell us the areas where the school can still get better at, uh, what are those areas? Every school has its uh, own pros and uh, cons, though I'm happy with uh, both the uh, academically and extracurricular oriented uh, once in a blue moon there won't be uh, AC in the buses once in a blue moon uh, my kids complain that uh, that particular days uh, food is not not that uh, tasty or something like that and uh, little bit oily hai, vaisa hai, vaisa hai karke. some kind of complaints are always there uh, during rainy days uh, they do face a problem of uh, having that uh, open uh, sports uh, stuff and uh, open uh, extracurricular activities where um, they want to play wherever they want to do that uh, drawing or something like that they they can they are they are not able to do it got it and generally how accessible is the management like in case if you have a question or concern uh, is it easy to reach out to the management uh, it is not as easy as uh, we think but one single email will get a reply in the next uh, 12 hours 
uh, and at the same time they respond uh, whenever your uh, kid is uh, sick or uh, whenever your kid is uh, not feeling well they respond on email they respond on phone they respond on whatsapp they use all the modes of communication and i mean i will take an example of my own uh, kid uh, she uh, fell uh, sick uh, long ago and i was informed through phone through fo- text through um, email and i was asked where which hospital should i uh, join her or something like that but uh, luckily i was very near to the school that day so okay. i myself went and uh, took, uh, took care of uh, my kid uh, wherein uh, what do you call it uh, infirmary uh, already hai so the moment uh, somebody gets sick uh, they can sleep for uh, some time and uh, have a tablet or a tonic or something like that and uh, get well got it uh, and uh, the swimming pool uh, is there uh, wherein people complain that uh, uh, there are some kind of house flies or something like that but okay. uh, you can't uh, stop house flies and mosquitoes from the swimming pool yeah. all the time got it sir uh, before we wind it up on scale of 10 with 10 being the highest how likely are you to recommend this school to other parents in your locality uh, if you are looking for uh, all round activities i want my kid to be an all rounder i want to my i want my kid to be uh, uh, what do you call a sports person i mean zero shy person a no stage fear person Uh, good at english good at uh, vocabulary good at all the uh, what do you call regular activities which we need in present uh, generation please go ahead and uh, join your kid i'll give uh, 7.5 out of 10 fantastic that's great to know sir uh, thank you so much for joining and coming forward because some inputs and information that you spoke about will be of great help for other parents who are looking for good schools i'm sure you must have gone through that journey where you wanted to know about schools but didn't find proper resource to know schools mm-hmm. so that's the exact problem area that we are trying to solve and people like you coming forward yeah. is definitely going to help the entire yeah. community yes. 